What's up? This is Richie from the Where We Wild YouTube channel, and today we're going to be talking about swim baits. Swim bait season's here, man. They just stocked trout up at Castaic Lake for the first time this year. Dumped a lot of them, man. Two trucks worth. Um, swim baits can be very, very expensive. They can go all the way up to like 1500 bucks. I mean, it's pretty insane. Um, but you can get some really, really good ones for under $100. So I'm going to be talking about those baits, and I'll also show you my, my current rod and reel setups for uh, my swim bait fishing, which I've gone over in the past, but I'll put it out there for you again so you can, uh, you can check it out. I'll link all this stuff in the description, so let's get into it, man. First and foremost, Huddleston Deluxe 8 inch ROF 12, definitely one of my money makers right here. I've caught a really, really nice seven pound striper on this. So it was last year, uh, tons of followers, lost a few fish. These are tough, man, to keep fish pinned. You know, you just got this one uh, kind of jig head hook up here, jig style hook. So you need a rod that's gonna really be stiff enough to just keep a fish pinned when, when they come up and get this. This thing is just a, a real slow rolling type of bait. You cast it out, let it drop all the way to the bottom and you just creep it in super super slow man i mean when i got hit on this last time I, after watching the video i was actually surprised i was like wow man out, out here going too fast i was definitely rushing it um i still got bit but uh yeah you really want to slow roll these things and speaking of slow rolling you know um, if you don't know this already when you're picking out a swim bait reel <clears throat> it should be a good size 300 400 size reel and you want to make sure the gear ratio is like really really low because you want that torque, you want that real slow retrieve. So I believe my reels are a five to, five, two to one, I think, ratio. Slower the better, I think. All torque, a lot of power, a lot of capacity for line. You know, I'm throwing 25, 30 pound, 40 pound mono. I mean, you could obviously go braid too, 60 to 80 pound braid, and then just tie a leader on 30, 30, 30 to 40 pound leader mono or, uh, Fluoroid. But yeah, you need a, you need a, a real slow reel to just bring these in. But yep, first bait, Huddleston Deluxe ROF 12, the old eight inch. That is just classic, man. That is a money maker for a lot of people. Next up, speaking with the uh, Huddleston here, is you got the old 68er, and it's basically just a small version of the Huddleston Deluxe, the eight inch, but it's got the same tail size as the bigger bait. You see that? So much smaller bait, but the same tail. So this has a lot of, like a lot more action because of that oversized tail. And uh, you know, I usually stick with the bigger bait because I'm, I'm looking for that monster, but a monster will hit one of these two all day, man. I'll tell you that, they'll come up and just swallow this thing. So 68 special, Huddleston, another good one. These things are badass looking, aren't they? When you get one of these baits for the first time and you see how they look in the water, it, it's gonna blow your mind. Like, uh, it's just, it, they look so real and so good. So, those two, definitely. And just to show you this, I keep all these swim baits in these little pencil boxes. They're like a dollar each, man, and they fit the majority of my swim baits, except for my really big ones. All right, next up, Storm Arashi Glide. Another super affordable bait. I got it in the trout pattern once again. These things look really good in the water. I haven't caught a fish on one yet, but they look really, really good. And uh, you know, I've definitely had some followers on it. Um, I haven't, I haven't had one commit to it yet, but definitely a good bait here. They have the um, the eyes that rotate 360. I don't know if you can see that, but they spin all the way. That way, when you do hook up, they can't spin this treble hook off. You know what I mean? Like it just keeps rotating. A lot of guys will add a, an extra split ring on there to give it more twist, you know, um, and let it twist even further. But when they make these, I don't know why all swim baits don't have this. When they make that rotating eye like that, that kind of takes away that problem altogether. So, yep. Stormarashi Glide, another good one. Super affordable. Next up, we got the old Sneaky. G-Rat, Sneaky Pete, they actually have a bigger one. This is the eight, I believe, eight inch, but the bigger one is the Papa Pete, and that is a 10 inch. These are great 
great, 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 great looking in the water. Some of my bigger ones are more like open water type stuff, which I'll get to. But these are great around cover. I mean, these, these fly in open water too, man. I mean, they have a great, great glide action to them. Definitely one of the more affordable ones. Once again, they went with the 360 degree eye. I love that. G-Rat, Sneaky Pete. Once again, I'll link all this stuff in the description. Favorite colors, uh, the price, all that stuff. What else do we got for you? Mega Bass. Next up, Mega Bass Mag Draft is a big boy. Affordable, you know, I think they run around, I don't know, 40 bucks maybe for the biggest one and then smaller sizes uh, even, don't quote me 100% on that, but I think 35 to 40 bucks um, for this bigger size. This is, this is like a, there's a big difference. Like this is like that, that big like kind of classic swim bait, soft swim bait tail but then like the Huddleston has the boot tail and that's like a totally, totally different action. Like these, they have like a lot of action, like super, super crazy action. And then these boot tails, it's just, it's real subtle. It's just like a bop, 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 just real, real subtle. So yep, Mega Bass Mag Draft. It's got that underbelly hook there and you just kind of feed it right down in there. So as it's swimming, you got two trebles exposed and one just kind of stuck inside the bait there like that. I'm not crazy about the fact that it's on the belly. I kind of like the uh, the stinger hooks and the treble hooks to be along the top, um, but this bait is still pretty badass and classic. All right, next up. This one's beat up. I actually found this bait, but this is a Spro BBZ. Uh, I believe this one is a fast sink. But they make them slow, slow sink, fast sink, floating, and they definitely get bit. This one's definitely real beat up and stuff like that, but Spro makes some kick-ass baits, dude, and they're come, they just came out with a new one, actually. And uh, I don't know if it's out yet, but I'm definitely gonna be grabbing that, too. I'll link it in the description as well, but Spro makes some good stuff, man. I really, really like that. Spro BBZ, probably my only multi-jointed bait really all my other ones are like either solid or just glide glide baits with one uh one joint but this one's got a, all three actually it's four technically so this thing kind of has like a snaking type action to it as it swims you know a glide bait has just got that one notch that gives you that big glide but these multi-jointed baits kind of just snake through the water and they look good for sure so grab one of those spro bbz eight inch another good one all right, I got two more for you, and they're definitely, actually, you know what? All right, screw it. This, I'm not gonna put in the category of affordable. You can get them for $100 or less. I got this one for $100 even, but they're, you're not gonna be able to find this bait in stores. You're gonna have to look on eBay or Facebook Marketplace or something like that. This is a Black Dog Lunker Punker OG, eight inch, made out of wood. Um, I added this tail, they, you know, a lot of them, they come with the feather, but I added that on. Yeah, this is gonna be hard to find for you guys, but in my opinion, this is probably the most badass top water swim bait, like ever. I mean, there's some custom baits out there that, that are really, really sick. I, I specifically know a few of them, but they're definitely really pricey as well, but, this is one of, if not the best, top water swim bait, in my opinion. It is just so sick, man. Like this thing in the water, like it just looks unbelievable. Just unbelievable. So if you can find one of these somewhere, grab it. Definitely grab it. Like I said, I got this for a hundred bucks. It's not by any means in perfect condition. It's got some rash, you know, but man, it still works. Um, I've definitely got bit a few times on it. Lost a couple of fish on it actually. And uh, the guy who kind of refurbished this bait makes badass topwater baits as well. But yeah, man, Black Dog Lunker Punker, eight inch OG made out of wood. If you can find one of those, I just had to slip that into this video, man. I, I wouldn't technically call this like a budget one and they're so hard to find, but if you can find this, dude, it's so badass. It looks so good. And right into one of these pencil cases. Fits perfect. You don't have to worry about it. I love that. All right, next up, 
This one is gonna be coming with some fishing line because it's currently tied on one of my rods right now. Ooh, I got a little sand on it at the uh, lake last time. But this is a Bait Sanity Explorer Gen 2. Yeah, man, this one is pretty badass for the price. They were just on sale for like 50 something dollars. So I actually just bought another one, but this one, I, they usually run around like 75 bucks. These are sick, all right? They are hard body swim bait and they have a soft tail, soft fins, and the action on this glide is sick. It's really good. I'm a big fan of Bait Sanity. I'm gonna show you another one of their baits. This color, I went with the uh, steelhead color, I believe it is. Um, they have a normal trout pattern color, um, plenty of awesome colors, man. Bait Sanity, they make some great baits, and especially for the price. Like this, this bait, man, people would probably pay 150 bucks 150 to 200 dollars for this bait like like a depths but yeah this is what i have tied on right now i think it's like nine inches and it weighs about five ounces i think but man these things look so good day one out of the box i had a, had a follower on it so i know this thing's going to get bit haven't caught one on it yet but i know it's going to get bit but speaking of getting bit last but certainly not least this one's a different shape so i put it last and it's currently my favorite swim bait because I just caught a nice four pounder on it a couple weeks ago. Day one, out of the box, I got hit three times and one of those fish uh, I landed and it was a four pounder. So pretty sweet, man, for day one, four pound largey. This is the Bait Sanity Explorer Gill Glide. It is so nice, man. Like this is the Jungle Perch color. That's what I went with because I wanted to uh, there's so many nice colors, man. It's so hard to choose like the basic the normal gill color is sick The dark blue gill is sick um, Raw I think it is bread. There's another one like they're all so good, man I'm gonna end up buying them all eventually I'm sure of it But this is the first color I went with and I got it because I wanted it to maybe be mistaken for a crappie Maybe be mistaken for a baby bass also be mistaken for a gill obviously and it's the same technology as they have on their bigger swim bait it's a soft tail and they snap off so you can replace them. And they also sell replacement tails that have different actions. Like they have like a, a paddle tail. They have another tail that gives it a different action. Like these things are sick, man. And the basic tail looks amazing. And it also comes with one or two extra tails when you buy them, which I love. So you don't have to worry about it. You know, you just easily, easily replace it. And you just flick that little switch forward here, pop, pop right off and just replace it but this is sweet man these run around like 60 ish dollars 65 um, but man day one out of the box this thing got smashed three times in the description I'll, I'll link the colors to all these baits all the colors that i like but you know you're going to be matching your hatch like like i said you know i didn't go with the normal bluegill i went with this because I know that they're feeding on crappie worm fishing also, and they're also hitting the gill. They're also probably hitting some baby bass, whatever, but you know, money. That's, that's a really good bait. So that's a handful of good affordable baits for you. As far as rods and reels go, my favorite one currently is still the Dobbins Fury 806 swim bait rod. It's an eight foot, two to eight ounce. This rod's great. Like seriously, like for the money, uh, I mean, there there are more options now than there were. Like SLX just has a new swim bait, Bass X, St. Croix has a new swim bait rod. But this this thing is great, man. I, I love it. Every, almost every swim bait fish I ever caught so far in my swim baiting adventure has been on this Dobbins Fury. I love it, dude. And it's really affordable. I'll link it in the description as well. And the reel I'm using is the Shimano Cardiff 401A another affordable reel. I mean, a lot of guys like the Tranks, low profile Tranks, and uh, sure, yeah, I mean, but they're way more expensive, man. And I've actually, I've actually really grown to love this reel. I mean, I think that you'd be just as well off with a size 300, depending on what kind of line you're gonna throw, but I'm throwing basically straight mono on this, so I wanted some room to fit more of it. So I got the 401A, I like them lefty. I also have one of these Gomexis handles on here to give me more crank. The stock handles on these reels are fine, but I have pretty big hands, so I wanted a little more crank, so I got one of these 120 millimeter Gomexis handles, 
And in that one video where I caught that seven pound striper, um, you can actually see it was the day after I installed that handle for the first time and I didn't do it right. And it came off on me. And I got really lucky, man, bringing in that fish because that thing could have came off during the fight and I would have been screwed. But it stayed on long enough for me to land the fish. And then once I got home, I realized that, you know, one of the washers, I needed a different washer choice, you know, but they're pretty easy to put on. I think they're like 60 bucks on Amazon, but you know, they're pretty good. You can go crazy and you can get like way more expensive custom handles and stuff like that. But Gomexis puts out a pretty good handle. I actually have um, some of their power knobs on my spinning reels, stuff like that. And the other rod that I've been throwing out there is the Savage Gear Squad. But this one's like way heavier, so it's, it's kind of like a broomstick. This one is an eight foot extra, extra heavy power Savage Gear Squad, and it's rated for uh, five to 12 ounces, all right? So it's definitely way thicker than the Dobbins Fury, which is rated two to eight ounces. So this one, you know, I, I kind of throw my bigger baits on it. The Dobbins Fury can handle up to eight ounces it says, but I kind of cap that at like six ounces, maybe even five. I prefer a little bit um, little bit stiffer of a rod for, for the bigger baits. It just depends also, like, you know, if you're throwing a single hook bait, okay, like the Huddleston, you're gonna want a stiffer rod to kind of drill that fish when you hook up and then not have a lot of play in the tip of the rod to kind of screw around and give that fish a chance to to shake it. You want it to be strong and uh, you know, you never let off. Like when you first hook up on one of these baits, I learned that lesson the hard way. Uh, I lost the first couple bites that I ever got on this thing because, you know, I just didn't have the experience. Like, I mean, you're always gonna lose swim bait fish, but I remember I just, I let off the gas a little bit and you can't do that with these. Like once you set the hook on swim baits, it's like, I'm so used to finesse fishing and, and power fi like normal bass fishing that I like to fight the fish and enjoy it and play with the drag and like, you know, let them play with you and, and this and that and, and enjoy that fight. But with swim baits, you're not doing that. The second you set the hook, you just reel like there's no tomorrow as fast as you can. You know, don't let off at all. Just get them in the boat, get them on shore, whatever, you know, wherever you're fishing from. All right, so the last thing I want to talk about here is hardware. When I first get a new bait, the second I get it out of the box, I'm changing the hardware on it. Pretty much every time. I mean, some baits come with really good hardware on them. I'm sure they're fine. I just am a psycho and I like to mix it up um, to stuff that like I know is strong. So I'll use this bait as an example. So the second I get it, I, I take off whatever split ring it comes with or snap or whatever, and I replace it with a split ring there. Usually, depending on the size of the bait, I always use Spro. You, you can use Owner, Hyper, and Ultra Wire, but these Spro uh, power split rings, they're good stuff, man. These are huge, these are a size six because um, I put them on a huge bait of mine, but usually I will throw either a size four or a size five on the front eye here to tie to, and then I'll replace these split rings with a size five, and sometimes size four, depending on the bait, four or five, maybe even a six, which is gigantic, like these on some of my massive baits. And then I put on Owner ST36, hooks, I always replace them with. Sometimes F ST56, and in rare occasions, really three times strong hooks, the ST58, which are just stupid, stupid thick. Like, I have this on pretty much my biggest bait, which is a 13 inch, 10 ounce bait, just gigantic. But for the most part, I go with the owner ST36 BC. Really good quality hook, man. Super strong, super sharp. Usually the hook size is two aught, one aught, size one. You know, they're big hooks, dude. Usually for the most part though, I'm going two aught. So yeah, you can trust your hardware, you know, when you get a bait. Um, but me personally, I always switch out the rings and switch out the hooks the second I get the bait. Um, that's just what I do, because I have problems. A lot of people do that though. Yeah, man, swim baits are awesome, dude. I'm stoked up. Like it's, it, it's just such a fun bite, man. Like 
the last time I went, you know, I, I got bit on that bluegill, that um, that bait sanity explorer gill. It was, it just got smashed. Like, oh man, it, I don't think there's a more fun bite in fishing than getting bit on a swim bait. Like, I don't know if you can beat it. I realized that they're kind of pricey, so I wanted to put this video together and show you a handful of really quality baits and quality gear that I have and that, that have all worked great and flawlessly for me. So yeah, man, I hope you got something out of this. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like. And if you're into this sort of thing, don't forget to hit subscribe. We put a new video out every single week. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Later. If you wanna see more videos just like this one, be sure to check out the rest of the Where We Wild YouTube channel, where we post a brand new video every week. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified whenever we post a new adventure. Thanks for watching.